Welcome, dear viewers, to a journey back in time, where the ancient city of Babylon was ruled by the Iron Fist of Nebula, Hadnazar. In this chapter of history, a saga unfolded that intertwined the destinies of the tyrannical king. In three seemingly ordinary Hebrew manishakwa, ah, Nishens and Begnigo. Picture a grand empire with Nibble. Habazar at its helm, conquering lands and massing power. That within this narrative of earthly dominion, a divine account emerged as three brave souls dared to defy a ruler's command for the sake of their unwavering faith. Imagine the colossal golden statue, a symbol of Nabal Edna's Ardus. Absolute authority, towering over the city. The king in his desire for universal worship decreed that all be respected of their beliefs. Bow before this golden idol. It was in this atmosphere of autocratic might that Shirabra, Sadu, Masha, and a dead eagle emerged as beacons of resistance. The refusal to submit to the demands of a tyrant became a catalyst for a profound clash between the earthly power and divine intervention. The stage was set, and the tension palpable as these three men stood firm, embodying a resolute commitment to faith. The stakes were high in Nebu. Had Nizard Nizath knew no bounds, as the narrative unfolds, we witness the indomitable spirit of these three men who, Rather than bowing to the wings of mortal king, chose to bow only to the eternal God of Israel. Their response, uttered in the face of impending doom, echoes through the corridors of time. We free are thrown into the blazing fair we saw this be able to deliver us from it, and he will deliver us from your majesty's hand. But even if he does not, we want you to know, your majesty, that we will not serve your gods of worship. The image gold you have set up, Daniel 3, fish 16 to 18. This decoration rooted in an unshakable trust in higher power, set the stage for one of the most remarkable demonstrations of divine intervention recorded in history. Now, imagine the fullness, its flames stoked so in times hotter as Shadrach, Nisa, and Abednego were cast into its searing embrace. The outcome seemed inevitable. The oppressive might of Nabu and Nazar poised to crush any form of dissent. However, what unfolded was a spectacle of the miraculous and unexpected guest walked with them in the fire. The divine presence, often then seen in the turbulence of human affairs, manifested in this fiery crucible leaving Nebu Nehad Nizar astonished to the supernatural trend and events. The flames, meant to consume and sting, became a stage for a divine revelation, challenging the limits of mortal understanding and showcasing the profound truth that even in the most intense heat, faith remains in scales. Join me in this exploration of faith, courage, the divine intervention as we delve deeper into the captivating story of shouting shops with Masha and Abednego. Subscribe to hit that notification bell. Then let's embark on a journey through the annals of history to uncover the timeless lessons embedded in the furnace of Babylon. Now, as we step into the heart of this riveting tale, Let's delve into the socio-political landscape of Babylon during Nebu, Babylon's reign. Picture a vast empire with Nebu, the Nadzar at its helm, conquering neighboring lands and asserting dominance. The creation of the colossal golden statue wasn't just a display of opulence, which was a calculated move to solidify the king's authority and the grandiosity of Babylon Shadranj. Meshohan and Abednego found themselves caught in the Nashors of political and religious coercion. The refusal of these three men to bow down to the golden idol was merely an act of defiance. 
It was a profound assertion of their allegiance to a higher power. In a society where submission to the ruler, their rooms was paramount, their stand was an audacious challenge to the established order. The trace of ideologies are of wooden and lessers, this confrontation, born out of the clash between Nibu, Nadanazar's autocratic rule, and the steadfast beliefs of Shadron, Mashek and Abednego, became a symbol of resilience in the face of oppressive regimes. As we witness the unfolding drama, consider the magnitude of the furnace, heated seven times hotter than usual. This wasn't just a dramatic escalation. It was a symbolic representation of the intense pressure faced by those who dared to challenge Nebuchadnezzar's authority. The flames of the furnace were meant to be an instrument of destruction, a tool to silence dissent. However, in the face of impending doom, these two men stood unwavering, echoing the sentiment that defied the logic of mortal calculations. The God we serve is able to deliver us from it, and he will deliver us from your majesty's hand. But even if he does not, we will not serve your gods or worship the image of gold you have set up, Daniel 3, verse 17 to 18. The miraculous twist in the narrative enfolds. A shred Meshar and a dead nigger are cast into the fiery finesse. Imagine the collective gasp of Don Lucas as the oppressive heat intended for destruction becomes a stage for divine intervention. In the midst of the searing flames, an unexpected guest appears, a fourth figure, often interpreted as a divine presence walking with them. This divine intervention not only defied the laws of nature, but also showcased a powerful truth. What even the most intense heat of life's challenges, the presence of God can transform destruction into revelation. Consider the impact of this event on Nebu and Hadnzar, who despite his initial rage was forced to confront the supernatural. This encounter became the turning point for the team. The sun thrones and only lingered up. Law and reverence Nebuchadnezzar experienced to the aftermath led to a decree that honored the god of Sardesh, Mashra, in a babigo, showing the transformative potential of unwavering faith in the face of seemingly insurmountable odds. Join me in the next segment as we explore the aftermath of this divine encounter that unfolded in the aftermath of the fiery furnace, and how did it shape the destiny of not just these three men, but also the tyrannical ruler Nebuchadnezzar. Subscribe, hit that notification bell, and let's continue unraveling the layers of this captivating story. As we conclude our exploration of this ancient tale, the story of Shadra, Masham Abednego transcends its historical setting, resonates with timeless tr truths that continue to inspire and challenge us today. The fire and fairness, once a symbol of impending doom, becomes a crucible of transformation and the intersection of mortal vulnerability and divine intervention. Reflect on the aftermath of this miraculous event. Nibu and Nazar, the once mighty ruler, is not the same. His encounter with the divine altar at the trajectory of his reign. The same man who erected the golden statue, demanding universal worship, and now declares, Blessed be the god of Shadra. <laughs> Mishan and Abednego, who sent his angel of delivered his servants, who trusted in Daniel 3 verse 28. The tyrant bows before a higher authority, acknowledging the supremacy of the god of Israel. This unexpected twist underscores the transformative power of unwavering faith, turning the oppressor into a praying labor or divine truth. Consider the ripple effect of Shabosh, Meshra, and Abednego stand in the fiery furnace. Their uncompromising faith. Link only defied the odds. It became a beacon that reached far beyond the confines of Babylon. 
the narrative of their courage spread throughout the kingdom, sparking admiration and wonder. In our own lives we find echoes of their story and encouragement to stand firm in our convictions, even when the flames of adversity surround us. Furthermore, let's delve into the impact of this narrative on subsequent generations. Imagine a young man, Elias, inspired by the courage of Shadrach's heart. Bishar wanted a bit to go. Intrigued by their unwavering faith, Elias embarks on a journey to seek the god they serve. This sets in motion a chain of events that transcends time, revealing the enduring influence of a single act of faith. The powering storytelling that in our modern context, the fairness of life takes diverse forms, personal struggles, societal pressures, and a relentless pursuit of power. Padra, Meshesh, and the Bedbinko invite us to consider our response to these metaphorical furnaces. Will we compromise our principles for the sake of conformity? Or will we, like them, stand firm even when the flames intensify? Their story beckons us to trust in a God who can deliver us from the fires of life or sustain us within them, fostering a resilience that transcends circumstances. Let's bring that Mesha and Abednego. That faith, when tested in the crucible of adversity, can emerge unscathed and triumphant. The God they served who walked with them in the furnace continues to be a source of strength for those who dare to stand against the prevailing norms of their time. Subscribe for more explorations into historical narratives that hold profound lessons for our present and future. Until next time, may the flame of unwavering faith guide you through the challenges of light's fiery furnaces.